This video is about framing an addition onto the long wall of a building as a substitute for a lean-to. If I had done a lean-to here, I wouldn't have nearly enough headroom to come out eight feet and still preserve a three and 12. So that addition is at a three and 12 slope. And we're in a situation where we're joining to a much steeper roof and how we handled that in particular with the rafter and the way the rafters were tied in and framed. So you can see that in order to access the rafters, I cut a straight line across the uh, existing metal roofing and it's about equal with the top plate. And I'll go ahead and show inside how we did that. So the white rafters are the existing rafters. They uh, came with the new rafters and you can't see it, but I'll show in the attic in a second. You cut a pocket out of the existing blocking. That's new blocking on top of the existing blocking mostly to give a place to hang the drywall on the edges there. Um, but anyways, cut uh, this 2x6 rafter, cut about a 2 inch notch out of it, and you can see, you'll be able to see that in the attic, so that it pushes through uh, several inches and sets on the top plate, which, again, before you do any of this, you should check with somebody that knows what they're doing or an engineer and make sure you're not going to be overloading your wall. But um, by setting on the top plate, instead of just being sistered onto the existing rafters, we're burying that weight of the roof a lot, a lot better there. And then down here, I simply cut, um, you could use the joist hangers, I forget why, oh, because so that we would again have a uh, blocking right here, I think, but I cut it uh, so that it's at a three and 12 angle, so it sits flat. And uh, oh, one other thing, in terms of like matching the existing eave line, right, you just cut the new rafter at an angle where it blends in with that and once it gets painted it'll be hard to see then cut the old rafter off and use a board under there to support that span. The blocking is coming off through a notch in the outside rafter equal to the framing and it's tied into a rafter, a second rafter over. All right and then we'll go up in the attic and I'll show you how we've put those rafters through um, from the addition rafters and tied into the existing top plate. So up here in the attic you can see where the rafter tail is coming in sitting on the sill plate. So there's where we've punched out the blocking and the rafter tail is running through there.